I'm here with Robert Pollan. He is a professor of economics at UMass Amherst, and he's the co-founder and director of the Political Economy Research Institute. He's also out with a brand new book from MIT, Back to Full Employment. Bob, welcome. Thank Glad you. to have you. Um, you say even with immigration, even with globalization, mechanization, all the other things, we know how to at least hugely grow employment. By doing right. what? Right. Well, step one today to grow employment today would be to take the $1.6 trillion that the banks are sitting on and force feed that money into the economy. We could start doing that tomorrow. We don't even need any legislation. The Fed could do it on its own. Uh, the Fed, yeah, a simple tool that the Fed could do, we have these things called minimum reserve requirements that how much the minimum that banks have to hold to be safe. They could also impose, and, and conservative economists have, have uh, advanced this idea. It's not just my idea. A maximum reserve requirement. And one of the things that I've calculated is, okay, they've got 1.6 trillion. How much do they really need to be super, super, super safe? And my number was 600 billion. That still leaves a trillion. And they can still get money for free. So there's an unlimited, when you have uh, unused resources in the economy, you can pump money into the economy and you'll create jobs right away. All right, so maximum um, holdings limit. Yes, yes. And then step two there, because the banks say, look, there's too much risk in the economy, we won't do it, uh, because the small businesses are too risky. By the way, small businesses are applying for loans and are getting turned down at an unprecedented rate also, even though the banks are sitting on this money. So step two, uh, we, the U.S. government does have a very extensive loan guarantee program. Today, $870 billion are guaranteed in some way by the government. That's a lot. It's about 4% of all outstanding loans in the whole economy. So extend that to the small business. There is a small business administration, but it's modest. Mm -hmm. So make that a big program. And that actually can be done at pretty low cost for the government. So that's step two. And then this, the third step is we do have to have another stimulus program. We do. And, the, and that's also very, very easy to do because all we have to do to start is to reverse the austerity at the state and local governments. I, we, I knew this was going to happen because we had the, the state and local governments were bailed out by the first Obama stimulus. My own university was bailed out. We faced this huge deficit. I was on the university budget committee. We had a $50 million mm. deficit, and we were talking about how we were going to impose austerity. And I would go to meetings with the other people on the committee. People would actually break down and cry about what was going to happen. All of a sudden, we got $50 million. It works. Mm.